Hello, in this research tips video today, I want to talk to you about what tools you can use to help you stay organized with your research. So there are two tools that I like to use and I'm going to recommend them to you today. And these are Google Drive and Zotero. And each of these resources is, I think, very useful to help you organize, whether it be organizing the notes from your reading, organizing the resources themselves and the citations, or organizing your actual writing. So Google Drive might be familiar to some of you. It is quite similar to other things currently on the market, like OneDrive, which is connected to Microsoft, or Dropbox, where you can upload different resources and save them in the cloud and share them with other people. Now, I like to use Google Drive to help me manage the notes from my resources and manage my actual writing. Let's go in and show you an example. So here's an example of my Google Drive account that I use for my PhD. And of course, for those of you who've used Google Drive before, you know that you can create a plethora of folders and subfolders within these. You can add documents directly to these folders and you can even edit these documents whilst you're in Google Drive on the web. So as you can see here, I have different folders for different aspects of my research, like my secondary notes are here, primary notes, a folder on chapters, a folder on different presentations that I've been giving, and a whole host of others. So if I go into my secondary research notes one here, I then have it organized by type of secondary source. If I go into articles, then in this folder, I have all of my articles, which if I open one of them up, you can see my various notes from my articles that I've read, including for me, I like to put a brief summary at the top of the article, as you can see here. And this is followed by notes that I've taken directly from the article itself. Now there are two reasons that I really like to use Google Drive to store all of my research. Firstly, because I can use it on the go. So I know that even if I forget my USB or if I'm using a different laptop, I'm not dependent on having that particular tool in order to do my research. So I know that I can look it up on any computer, even on my mobile phone, if I want to have a quick look at something. Secondly, I really like to use Google Drive because the way I've set it up here, it's actually its own database of my research. So if I go up to the search bar here, and I've done this many times, I can search within a particular folder. So if I change my location, let's say recently, I was looking up different primary sources to see if I had anything which mentioned true religion. So I'll go to my PhD folder, then I'll go to my primary research folder and select that. So now anything I search for, it's going to be searching just in this primary research folder. And then I'm going to search for true religion. And then that's going to bring up anything that has true religion in the document, including some actual PDFs of primary sources, which I've uploaded. So that's supremely helpful. As I said, it's like having your own database of your research. Now, the second tool that I'm really excited to show you today is Zotero, and this is technically a bibliographic software, or what you might call a referencing tool. For those of you who are connected with universities, you might have something called RefWorks that you can access, which is quite comparable to Zotero. Um, Zotero is free, though, so for those of you who don't have access to RefWorks or to a university, I would highly recommend using Zotero. And to be honest, even with access to RefWorks, there are things about Zotero that I quite like and prefer. Zotero, of course, in the main helps you to organize your references so you can keep a list of all of the journal articles, books, manuscripts, anything else that you're looking at in Zotero, and you can quickly cite things according to the citation style that you're using. For me, it's usually MHRA or Chicago, but you'll find a whole plethora of other styles available as well. You can also organize your resources by folders. You can import notes into Zotero that you can quickly review when you're doing your research. It's very easy to add resources directly into Zotero, and you can actually use a little add-on from Zotero to directly insert your citations or your footnotes into a Word document as you're writing. Let's go into Zotero so I can show you what I mean. So this is Zotero. 
So this is my own Zotero account, as you can see. Um, this is the desktop version of my Zotero account. You can also use it directly from your web browser. And if you have both, it will sync between the desktop account and the account in your web browser. So I'm not going to be going over all the details of how to use the various features on Zotero. If you would like a video that gives a very detailed look at how to use it sort of step by step, let me know in the comments and I'm happy to make that. I'm um, just as for, for the purposes of a quick overview to add new resources, you can do so here manually, here by using identifier numbers. And of course, if I click and open up any of these resources, it will show me all of the metadata on the right hand side, which I can also edit. Now, there are three features that I want to highlight as being supremely fantastic when using Zotero. The first one are these folders that you can see on the left hand side. So just like in Google Drive, I have my research organized by various folders. I also organize it by folders in Zotero. Now, when I put items in different folders, it doesn't mean that I can't put it in another folder. So everything that I have on Zotero is in my main library here, and I can also add each of these resources to multiple folders on the left hand side, which is really helpful when I'm looking at particular topics, particular chapters, or even other projects that I have that I'm doing externally. So that's the first feature that I find really useful with Zotero. The second feature that I find really useful is actually the notes section. So let me open up one of the secondary resources I have here. Let's open up this one. Now, if I go over here into the metadata and I click on notes, it will actually allow me to add notes directly into this resource here. And if you recall, when I was showing you my Google Drive account, I like to have a couple paragraph summary of each article, each book chapter, etc. that I read for my secondary research. And what I like to do is I copy those paragraph summaries and paste it into the notes section of the metadata of that particular resource. So let me show you an example where I have done that. So if I go here to this book by Bailey, Family Relationships, you can see that I have a summary, a paragraph summary of that particular resource. I think it's just one chapter in that resource. And what's quite useful about this is firstly, I could just peruse this according to the different sections. So if I look at the happiness folder, I might want to peruse the notes for this resource, then this resource and this one. But another thing that I can do is I can actually print these summaries for these resources. So if I select this one, and I select this one and this one, I'm gonna select all three, then I right click and I select generate a report. And it gives me this information right here. So basically what it's done is it's giving me all of the metadata for each resource, including the notes that I've inserted. And so I've done this many times before when I'm working on a particular chapter or project, and I just need to briefly overview once again, those particular resources that I've read. Maybe I read them a couple of years ago and I just need to brush up on them again. So I click on that folder with those resources, highlight them all, right click, generate a report, and then I print this report with all the summaries for these various resources. And this is actually the feature that I find most useful in Zotero. It's not something that you can yet do with RefWorks. And I will also uh, just note that it's not something that you can yet do with the web version of Zotero. So if you want to use that particular printing reports feature that I've just shown you, you will need to download the free desktop version of Zotero. Well, thank you for watching this video on using Google Drive and Zotero to help you stay organized. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave them in the comments below this video. And if you did enjoy or found it helpful, please do subscribe to this channel so you can stay apprised of future research tips videos. Thank you.